Hello my friends! In this video I'll show you how easy it is to paint a colorful fish. And as usual we will start with a sketch. This is the body and these are the fins. You will see me drawing several lines as I'm looking for the best shape. But after I will finish sketching, I will come with an eraser and I will eliminate all the additional lines that I don't need in my sketch. A row of dots here and squares. The upper fins. I want to reshape the one here. This is the tail and a big, big eye, kind of like this. Now, as I told you before, I'm grabbing the eraser and I'm getting rid of the additional lines that I don't need. First color here, it's red. I already painted the tail. Just a simple layer of red everywhere. And for the tail, I didn't mix my color with anything. I just applied a layer of color exactly as I find it in the tube. And on top of it, I am drawing little, little lines. To make things easier, a very thin brush is the tool that I need for this. And I'm accentuating here the edge of the tail. I still have some red left. It's a little bit pink. Um, and with the same color, I'm filling the head area. Just a little bit underneath the eye. What I did, I mix my red with yellow and I got this bright orange. I did the top part and some other accents. Now with the pink, I'm working the area around the eye and I'm also dividing it in few panels. With the same color, I will fill this part too. And now I'm going back to red again. What is my purpose here is to use bright and uh, very luminous colors to, to create that um, specific look. And here you can use the colors that I am using, but you can also create your own combination of color. That will be totally fine. Now I have a orange kind of red and with this I'm filling the inside of the eye and also the top part of the fin. As I am working, I am dividing and I'm reinterpreting the shape. I want it to be as decorated and as, um, as vivid as possible. I'm finishing the lower fin. I'm paying attention at the same time on the edges. All this time I've used the same brush, I didn't change it at all, and that helps me well. I still have the yellow, and here you can see how uh, the color is bleeding, but that's okay because that will uh, create interesting look. I am very very sorry for this, my camera is acting wild, I don't know why it's blurry as I'm painting with pink, um, I, again, I'm, I'm sorry. So um, I'm filling the top part with a pink. And with a very very bright yellow, I'm filling the area around the eye. I didn't mix this yellow with anything, it was just simple yellow. Now I have a um, bright green 
and I'm adding a few accents here and there. This green will complement very, very much the red and the um, warm colors that I've used before. I'm filling actually the entire area here in the middle. So we'll have a green and then an orange and green and an orange and we'll create a decorative um, rhythm. And this area too. I've changed my mind. I don't think a red eye looks that good. So I will paint it green. If you're following my channel, you already know that already. You know that there's no mistakes in art. And even if it happens to change our mind at some point, that is totally okay. As we are working, we are constantly looking to what we've done and what, it's, um, what is the next step. And they always have to match. They always have to blend and the painting should look good at all times. That's why it is okay as we're working to reinterpret shape the color so the entire painting looks good okay now moving on to our fish I'm using right now a bright blue I mixed some white in my uh, darker blue that I already had and for the background I will divide the entire area into panels and then I will fill each one with color here you can see me filling this with a colorful gray. This is another panel. For this I will use a pink. Need a little bit darker. And I will decorate this area with some dots. And I will reapply a layer of pink. The remaining area will be green. For this part, I've chosen a dark red. And as I am working, I'm also decorating the fish. So with this color, I apply a series of lines. Now I'm using a yellow. And with the same color, I'm filling this part too. A zigzag line another layer here that will make the green um, brighter okay I finished my my triangle here just on top now I'm moving on to the next color and that would be a pink and with the same color I am drawing a series of lines a set of lines and also this area, do a cross line. I'm applying another layer of pink on the dots and I'm moving on to the next color. This will be a bright yellow. To get this, I mix the regular yellow with a little white. I'm filling the bottom area this color and a series of lines to decorate the hat. A few dots here. And for the final part, I'm sure you already guessed it's black. With um, this, I will fill the remaining background and also I'm going to contour and redefine the shape. This will bring the entire painting together, it will define and will bring some contrast in. So I'm working the top fin right now. 
again i'm sorry it gets blurry i'm so so very sorry oh more blurriness For the eye, I want to leave the middle of the eye white. So for this, I'm using the whiteness that is already in the paper. And I'm going around the edge of the eye. I want a thicker black line here. So I will go several times around it until it reaches the thickness that I'm looking for. There you go. That's the eye. Now the head and the area around the eye. Okay, moving on. This line too, and I will redefine the bright green. Okay, it's okay if the two are um, overlapping. And here, I will continue the line. This is the edge. Okay, and I will take it down here, and that's the fish. Okay, one more line, and more lines. I want to contour the squares, and this area too. Moving on to the next part, a line. And then I want to redefine those uh, big uh, circles that I did before and I want to change them into squares just like this okay now the lower fin The interior this is the tail and the top this is my colorful fish I hope you enjoy it see you next time with another fun project bye bye